Yeah, hi, uh, this is Vishal here from Drapcode. So in this video, we will see how to redirect the user to their respective dashboard or to their respective page on the basis of their role. So let's say I have an application which has a student role, a teacher, and let's say a manager or, or, or maybe principal. Now, when they are trying to log in uh, from a common login page, I want all of them to land on their respective dashboard. So let's see how this can be done on Drapcode. Okay. So I have a dummy project which has two roles, student and teacher. Let's create one more role where I'll say principal. Principal. So now I have three roles, principal, student and teacher. Let's go and build their dashboard. Okay. So I'll go to my add page, click add. So let's add a page dashboard. So whenever the person who is signing up or who is logging as a student will land on this page. Okay. So I'll give the permission that only person with a student role should be able to access. And that's all. Okay. Let's go and do some basic designing. Okay. We'll go to the page. We'll just draw a jumbotron. Say student dashboard. Let's do the same for other two roles. Okay, so I'll add a page where we'll say principal dashboard. Okay, and then I'll give the permission that only principal can access this. Create it. Let's create one more page for teacher. And in the access, I can say only the person with the teacher role should be able to access it and then create it. Let's go and add some basic designing. Okay, so I'll go to the principal dashboard. Here in the principal dashboard, let's drop a, a, some pre-built layout. Let's, let's say this one. Let's do some basic designing to teacher dashboard also. So we have created three uh, sections or so three modules, I would say. Uh, principal will land on their dashboard and they can take actions on the basis of their role. Teacher will land on their dashboard and student will land on their dashboard. So now let's go and fix this. Uh, let's go and build an event where we can control it who, when they when someone is logging on the basis of their role, where they will go. Right. So I'll go to my event and let's create a new event. Okay. So I'll call it as login event common login here i'll add an action that someone whenever this event gets triggered log the user in okay so now it is asking me uh, on which role where you want to send so if you can see it has actually picked all the roles which we have created so i'll say whenever someone is a teacher take them to teacher dashboard okay now next whenever someone is student take them to student dashboard okay whenever someone is a principal take them to principal dashboard okay this is a teacher student principal all done so now let's go and create some dummy data so we'll go to the user so we already have a student with the name student teacher with the name teacher let's go and create principal Role is principal. Okay, no, now I have three different type of users. So let's go and see how this works. We go to my login page. Okay, so this is a com common login. This is a common login page. I'll just change the event and bind the event which we have just created, which is common login event. And that's all. And I save it and preview it. Now, if I log in from teacher, it will take me to teacher dashboard. If I log in from student, it will take me to student dashboard. And same for principal. So login. So here I am logging as principal. And click login. 
it has redirected me to the principal dashboard okay now let's log in as a teacher Now it has taken me to the teacher dashboard. Now log in as a student. It has now taken me to the student dashboard. So on the basis of who the current logged in user is, it is basically deciding and taking to the respective page. Now, if I try to access some other module, let's say I'm logged in a student and I try to access something else, I should not be able to do it. So let's quickly give it a try. So I'll go to the pages and let's say I want to access teacher dashboard and I'm trying to give it in the URL. So you can see it is not authorizing me to view this page because I'm not logged in as teacher and I'm not, not authorized to view the pages which are supposed for the teacher. Hope this is clear now. Thanks for watching. Bye.